What is going on in this freaky place? Where is everybody? Hello? Whoa, look at that. There's some weird spots in this. this when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We've done both. The left has more answers. Okay, we're back in here. Close the damn door. Stepping into me. his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling yes. books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. How do I his look behind a painting? Was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. This is different. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Must we? Must we do what we've already done? Give me another option. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything yes. on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Rebel. Two, eight, four, five. Take that! Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with what? the story. Well, whoop de do. You oh, you're making it too easy for me. I know where this leads. It leads to the stupid bomb. But I guess I don't or the bomb, the end of the world thing. I guess I don't have to try and take control of everyone's minds, right? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Or did he? Yeah, so I'll just go in and I'll destroy it. Like I should have done the first time. Come on! The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I know exactly what it is. An evil mind control facility. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Look up there! The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where Give me out. meant nothing. What a crazy place. What a crazy, crazy place. All right. No further dilly-dalliances will be accepted. We will go, and we will destroy this great thing. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Yes. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? No was longer. The reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Hmm. No. He refused yes. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? The answers lie within. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. This is it. The grand finale to the great story we have been telling. Last time I turned it on. 
and only terrible things happened. The whole world got destroyed by an evil bomb. Uh -huh. I'm the hero of this story. Is that the whole story? Without a mind control device, Stanley slumped to the floor and died promptly. This is new. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. 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 He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Yeah. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as yes. sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none oh. of this mattered to him. Amazing! For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, Lower it all. or how to feel. Whatever life oh. he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Truly was, beautiful! the only thing worth knowing. Stanley Amazing. stepped through the open door. If this is a movie screen, I'm gonna slap somebody silly. <sighs> Stanley oh. felt the cool breeze upon his skin, <gasps> the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Cool. Geeks wanted to say thank you for watching my playthrough of the Stanley Parable. Uh, this, I'm going to make this the last episode uh, because there is no better way to end a series than by beating the game. Um, the Stanley Parable has been truly as unique an experience as I have had playing a video game. It is existential and mind-bending and that was really fun to play. Every It's a let's player dream. Every time you go in, you have a different, hilarious, entertaining experience. So completely different from the one before that it doesn't even feel like the same game. I just want to say thank you. I had a blast playing this thing. That's it, geeks. Thank you for watching this playthrough of The Stanley Parable. And uh, stay tuned for more cool stuff on my channel. I, as always, am Unite the Clans. And I'll see you, geeks in the next video. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I oh, everything's real. turning red. Oh, my God, everything's turning red. Oh, Jesus, what the hell's happening behind me? Get me out of here. Black. This has been a truly as unique and... Ex this has been truly as unique as ex This has been truly as unique an experience as I have had playing a video game.